Hi, Jim Schreiner here. I'm still in my RV. I've only got a couple more segments before I hit the road. As I said in one of the other segments, we're going to be hitting Mammoth Cave, and I'm going to try to hit a couple of the state parks on the way home, see if I can do some cave hopping. Uh, years ago when I was a kid, I remember some of my best childhood memories were at uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky, Beach Bend Park in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And we used to go up to uh, Mammoth Cave, and I think there's Rock City, a couple of beautiful caves. I'm going to try to hit them on the way back down to Florida. A couple things I want to talk about. I've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of texts and emails about people. Obviously, uh, I'm in a point in my life where I just don't believe that the facts support the theory of this omnipotent God that the Christians talk about. I was raised as a Catholic and then I became a born-again Christian. And I, I practice now a term called deism. I don't believe in the God, the creator that uh, Christians talk about, that this guy that cares about what your sexual preference is, he cares about who you're sleeping with, or he cares about, you know, the fate of the humanity of the world. I just don't believe that there's this person out there that is tallying up the day-to-day -day activities and really cares about the things that happen. However, I can't look at this universe and not realize that something created this. And one of the things I want to talk about is it doesn't matter what you believe about God and religion and faith and organized religion because here's what I know for sure. Is there a God? Is there a creator? I don't know that for sure, one way or the other, but here's what I know for sure. Whatever or whoever created us gave us this amazing body that heals itself. I want you to think about that. Atheists who don't even believe in God, if they get a cold or they get the flu or they even get cancer, they get better. So is that a miracle? No. It's the body doing what it was supposed to do. This body was created to heal. There's been a lot of terms now thrown out about, I think it's called uh, epigenetics and quantum physics and tapping into the universe and all this and controlling the mind. Now, is there this invisible energy out there that you can tap into like they talk about in the book I think called The Secret. Is there, are we surrounded by this invisible energy that you can tap into make your life better? You know what? I don't know. I just don't know. But here's what's great. I don't know many things for sure. Some of the things that I was taught back in college about health and fitness and nutrition have changed. What we thought we knew just 20 or 30 years ago, we realized how wrong we were. Well, that's something that I would hate to be wrong about. So I'm open-minded about it. I do meditate. I send signals out into the universe. Is there something out there listening? Is there something coming back to me? I don't know. But I'm opening to learning and listening and questioning. Because as I've said, in 56 years, the one thing I know for sure is I don't know much of anything for sure. Things change every day. And that's why I want to learn. I want to be educated. And I want to continue to educate you on what I've learned. Here's what I know. Now listen to this. Yes, our bodies heal. Our body has this way of healing itself. But it all starts right here in the computer. It all does start right here in the mind. But you can't stop there. Too many people are saying, oh, just change your mind and you change your future. It's not that simple. Yes, you have to change your mind. But the universe gave us these amazing tools. Think about it. The sun gives us energy. It gives us solar powers. It gives us heat. And watch this. A lot of people don't know this. The best way to get all natural vitamin D is from the sun. The body synthesizes it and makes vitamin D. You know, one of the first diseases that we ever discovered was rickets. Children used to break their bones really easy. And they figured out that a child's bones couldn't develop efficiently if he didn't get enough vitamin D. Where did he get vitamin D? From the sun. We are so afraid to spend time out in the sun that people are afraid to get out in the sun because they think they're going to get skin cancer. Your body needs the sun. It produces all natural vitamin D. Did you know that there? I don't think there's one living organism on the planet that doesn't require the sun. If that sun were to disappear today, we would all die probably within a few minutes. We're dependent upon the sun, but guess what? We're also dependent upon air, oxygen from the trees. We're dependent upon the earth's energy. I practice something called earthing, where I connect to the earth barefoot. 
I let my body connect to the earth because science has proven that you can actually absorb the earth's energy from connecting to the earth. We need air. We need sun. We need earthing. We need water, which was provided to us by the universe. Now, was that because of a creator? Was it that evolution? Did it just happen at the Big Bang? No one knows. But here's what I know. Whether you believe in God, whether you believe in creation, or whether you believe in evolution doesn't matter. We all play by the same rules of the universe. We're all dependent upon the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, the ocean, the water, the air that we breathe. So at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter that we're on the same page as far as where we came from. It doesn't matter. We all have to tap in to that same energy. Do I believe that there's something out there bigger than all of us? Absolutely. And I'm trying to find it. Every day I'm searching for it because I believe that we were somehow created and that something, some entity, some being, some force, some whatever created this amazing universe that we get to experience every day. And I'm honored to be part of it. And I'm honored to be sharing this journey with all of you. So tell all your friends, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, go to jimstriner.com. I don't care. Please follow me on my journey because every day I'm going to try to give you my 56 years of experience in this journey of life. I want to try to make this planet a better place. I practice humanism. Let's make mankind better by allowing humans to be kinder to other humans. That's a cause we should all be involved in. I'll see you on the road.